All right, and that is this drill. That is this, uh, mission. Whoa! Whoa. Did you just shoot that camera or something? No, or? I jumped up and knifed it. Oh, okay. Cut its throat. Yes. So, yeah, normally at this point, you, we just wait around. There's Nobody will call the cops at this point unless we let them. If we see someone panic outside, then we can go and kill them or whatever you want to do. Really up to you. 280, 200, was that an 80 or is that an 8 or is that 280 seconds. Two, 278 seconds? Okay, got a ways to wait. I gotta think of the story to tell. Oh, oh God. Did, did you stop? I got it. I, I'm sure I can think of a story. Okay. Oh, crap. What happened? I accidentally alerted someone outside. Uh oh. It's fine. They're dead. <laughs> Who was it? Just some guy. He heard me shooting. Civilian or? Yeah. Okay, can't shoot this lock. Oh, are there locks you can shoot off? Yes. Certain doors will open if you shoot at them. Alright. What picking lock? What's in there? Uh, this is the teller area. And there's a cache you can pick up here. Actually, you have that dead president skull, right? Uh, I don't know if I have that yet, or... Did I? Do I? I might. Yes, you can go ahead and pick up those rolls of cash. 1100? Yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, it'd normally be 1000? Yeah. Okay, so, alright. I'm trying to sit here and think of something entertaining to tell you, but I really can't think of anything. Um, do you have any stories, John? Um. Oh, cool! I can look at the cameras. That's yeah. Oh, I think it needs to. Yeah, it needs to again. Hit, just hit it again. Okay, now. So yeah, uh, yeah, we started, El and I started recording, um, Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Tuesday. Oh, nice. Oh, man, I'm Gary. What do you mean you're Gary? The rival character. In the anime. Oh, that's right, yeah. In the anime, he's Gary. Oh, it's, okay, yeah. I did name the rival character after Nick. Mm-hmm. And I've started off by naming pa captured Pokemon after, like, uh, you know, like friends, you know, friends or people who've done stuff with the channel. But I'm, I realize with the number of Pokemon in the game, I'm going to run out pretty quickly. When you said friends, Names. I thought you meant, like, the TV series. Like, for a split second. Like what? I thought you meant the TV series, like Joey and Rachel and Ross. Oh, no! <laughs> no, no. I actually got really excited because I'm a big fan of friends. Yeah, I was gonna say it all comes back to, all well, somehow, co always somehow comes back to friends with you one way or another. I remember. Well, it's that or Full House. It's sitcoms in general. Like, uh... wasn't there some rant, uh, some new rant about Full House you were holding in abeyance or something? Some, I'm sorry, what? You you ran into some guy at the, at the airport. And you somehow gotten and some that somehow led to talking about Full House. Uh. I remember having this conversation with you, like an hour ago, but I don't remember yeah. why it was. You were in the, uh, you were like, you were like, we're stuck in L.A. overnight. Yes. And you were gonna, talking to some guy, and it was going to be, a, like, discuss, you were going to talk about Full House, but then it segued into this discussion about how we'd alienated the L.A. demographic, and then you went on this rant about your dislike of L.A. in general. Uh, and so we never actually got to the Full House story. Oh, uh, I don't remember. Uh, me... <laughs> I'm trying to think, because, uh... I don't remember how that story relates to Full House. It always does come back to Full House to me, though, because I do. I hate Full House so much. It makes, it makes me ridiculously angry. There's surprisingly detailed, like, magazine covers and stuff here. Yes. Very, very Market detailed. monthly, emerge. Actually, like, c funds and currency. Come out here real quick. Come outside. Outside? Yeah. Okay. You want to look up there? There's billboards. Bob McKendrick. And Nancy something. Those are no, both story-related. 
Oh, really? Yes. Bob McKendrick is running against a uh, uh, one of the people who buys contracts from us, who goes by oh, the really? alias The Elephant. And so one of the missions involves us ruining his career. Wow. It's not like he doesn't deserve it, though. He does... Uh, we're framing him for drug deals when, in actuality, he does arms deals. Oh, okay. With, uh, the, I want to say the African military or something. So it kind of balances out. Yeah. Two wrongs accidentally sort of just conglomerate into a right. Exactly. Alrighty now. Oop, 13, 12. I imagine like the big ball going down in like Times Square at New Year's. <laughs> Oh, so exciting. Okay. You guys keep up. Don't ask. I didn't. Oh, yeah, we can actually destroy the money and. Oh, come on. Set up the camera. What? There's another door in the way. Oh, for the love of. Drilling for another three minutes. <laughs> the funny thing is, like, this is the actual kind of stuff that would really interfere with a bank robbery and I, I do appreciate that because if there's just like oh this guy today has decided to start picking up his key card so there's just these random occurrences yeah that can really interfere with a planned bank heist oh, damn. wait how how many of these people are okay how many of these people are dead uh, a lot of them if they don't look like they're like kissing the ground then so, like this lady's dead. Why? Why are there so many of them dead? I killed them. Why? Because I I, I know that, but I <laughs> oh I know you killed them. Wait, why is the skylight broken? Uh, I shot it. Why? Uh, cause it felt like it. Gotta restart the drill. Yep. So we got he's gonna film us burning the money. So it's like a it's like a fiscal snuff film. Yes. Essentially. Uh, and we, we will find out, there's like a one in three chance of him saying it, um, but the money that we burn ends up, uh, being marked by the, uh, U.S. government anyways. Oh, so if we stole it, it would have been tracked or something? Yes. Hope no one walks by and notices these shattered windows. Uh, they really don't. They don't notice that oh. at all. Okay, I do actually have, uh, so when I was with, uh, my friends this past 4th of July, we went and did pub trivia. Okay. Um, and you had to pick up, pick team names, and the team that we originally was Team Bobby Flay, because we had this long discussion about how Bobby Flay is a terrible person. Who's Bobby Flay? He's the chef on Food Network. He's really smug. He's like Gordon Ramsay, but American, and kind of a doucher. Like, more of a douche than... But... Gordon Ramsay. I know ver relatively little about him. He's, like, really angry, right? Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. yeah. he's just British and very... He's actually just a very passionate person because okay. he does t he does a bunch of shows. Some of them are Master... Sh There's Master Chef, which is the adult cooking competition, and he does get very angry in that one. But then there's Master Chef Junior, where he does it with kids, mm -hmm. and he doesn't get angry with them. Usually because the kids are very honest and open about their enthusiasm for cooking. And he appreciates that a lot. Looking at some books here now. Visually nothing. When environment lighting dies. CEO and strategy. CEO and strategy. Po economics and politics. My life. By Ilya P. All about Curva. Uh, I was a teenage cat from the desert. Essential Guide to Cold Fusion. Total Out of Control. Whoa. How to s Exchange a Server. Analysis and How to Avoid Them. <laughs> these are strange books. Let's see what these folders say. Okay, they're not legible. Alright, John. That's not. Drill's open. Can't. That mug's not breakable. That saddens me. All right. Okay, I'll let you do the honors. All right. 
I said a lot of flares as a kid. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, you're talking to somebody who earlier this morning set fire to a uh, fast food bag I just had in my living room. So, no judgment here. You can actually turn around and pick the locks on these safety deposit boxes. Can I? I don't have any lock picking ability. Or do I, could I, oh, you have the ability lock? to lock pick, but you will do it slowly. Okay. Okay, well, it didn't say anything about the boxes. Yep. The safety deposit boxes are full of legitimate goods. Oh, I can see by your little circle thing. You're go you're, yeah, you're a lot more skilled at this than I am. Yeah. Got one! Nice. What is that? What? It's like... Oh, just look... How do I pick up? I, can't, I don't think I can. Uh, if it's if it's not anything valuable, you can't pick it up. Some of them are deeds or family photos or stuff like that. Oh, okay. Uh, that looks like like that looks like actually looks like it might be like military decorations. Yeah, war medals. Okay, interesting. Which, despite the high um, sentimental and personal value they might carry, uh, there's not a big market for military medals anywhere. This pawn shop down the street from me actually um, was talking to a homeless veteran in the area who was looking for some watch cash and he uh, come on and he was gonna give him like 15 bucks for his service medals. Ooh. I was like, that's a raw deal, dude. Don't do that. All right, uh, so we've got everything we need. We can escape when we can, when you want. All right. You'll make five times the amount of cash that we made in all of the other missions. Should we finish off this last lock here? Wait, was that a gunshot? Nope. It's dynamite. What, what, why is dynamite exploding? I blew up a couple cars. Like I said, at this point, it doesn't matter. Where, 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 where are the cars that you hit? Well, the ones behind you and these two here. Just the glass really broke. Okay. Stay back. All right, so now. Oh, jeez, I'm I'm taking damage from that, Nick. <laughs> Just barely. Yes. All right, and that's it. And we got the stealth bonus. Yep. Five in disarray. A lot of people about to get called into their boss's office. The deals are crippled, and we're about to get. Oh, look at all that money. An iceberg, folks. Nearly a cool million, I think. Yeah. So you'll be getting a good, almost 200k. Nice. Surviving crew. How many? How many people did you kill, Nick? Mm. Civilians or total? Well, yeah, civilians. Twelve, nine, nine civilians. Jesus, Nick. <laughs> the value of you, <laughs> the human dollar, the value of the human life, is not worth as much as my dollars. <laughs> oh, I'm up to level thirteen now. You sound like a sociopath. <laughs> oh, I got eight. I got I got an eight additional skill points. Nice. Pick a card. Awesome. A pattern. Huh. I got more money, I think. Nice. I got a $40,000 cash bonus. There you go. So now you should have plenty of money to pick up a uh, silencer. Cool.